Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys, gals, and of course, non-binary pals, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Varys is, uh, is in the Imperial City now. Um, he's, he's managed to collect this mage's staff, uh, for the Breville Mages Guild, who are apparently, uh, gonna be covering up, uh, some Mages Guild charter violations about thievery and, and all that stuff, um... And I don't think Varys is particularly happy about it, you know. It's, uh, I mean, it's he's become a knight. <clears throat> he's uh, he's trying to learn about magic, and he wants to help people. And uh, one of these first interactions he's having with the the Mages Guild, right? He's he's worked with the people in Leowin, and uh, someone there tried to kill him. And he's come to Breville, and they're uh, covering up some some just blatant disregard for the Mages Guild Charter, right? Breaking the rules, uh, not not enforcing guild policies, and um, and he sort of found himself caught in the middle of it, which I don't think he's particularly pleased with, you know. Uh, and so now he's here in the Imperial City, and uh, he's not going to head back to Breville straight away, you know. Uh, he's 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 actually got some money. Um, and he's in this huge city, so I feel like he might spend a day or two kind of exploring and uh, just looking around and maybe shopping for himself, you know, spending some of this this coin that he's actually earned for himself. Um, but first, what are we have him for breakfast. I think he's gonna munch on an apple, do a little charcuterie, you know. Some bread and cheese. Um, strawberries. And that'll be him out the door for the day. In the Imperial City where he's pretty, pretty excited about. Looking around, what's going on? Like a dining hall up here? This is fancy. Well... This is the hotel he's staying in. He may as well have a look. Well, he really can't just come up here and and read or do some letter writing if he wanted to. That's actually really cool. Dining room. My acrobatic skill increased. We love to see it. Oh, and this is us coming downstairs for the morning. Reports on pillaging, murder, and thievery. You know what? Right now. It's our day to sort of enjoy the city. And if we get caught up in something, we get caught up in something. Let's not let's not search for it. You know, Varys is gonna let adventure come to him today. Imperial City's massive with the addition of the uh, better cities. Look at that. There's a second floor. Everything's just bigger and badder. It's kind of awesome. Government archives, imperial services. I want to see how we get up to that second floor. This is nice. What? That's nice. We need to work on our potion making anyway. And we have access to the Destruction School of Magic now, too, so maybe we can find some cool stuff related to that somewhere in the city. Oh, there's some stairs. Well, these just look like houses, maybe? Yep. Like an alley? Hello? Abcas? There's really is ABC, huh? So we just gave up naming this dude. Wow. I have no greeting. You love to see it. Good job, everyone. We found that. Look at it. everything about this is wonderful. It's just broken. Um, you just stand around and do nothing, huh? Interesting. Wait into the sewers, some crates. This is, yeah, this is just a back alley with a not finished NPC that's got to be part of the uh, Better Cities expansion mod. That's wonderful. A bookstore, it looks like, up there. Have a look. What's this now? 
A recent disturbance. This is really tiny text. If you can't see this, I'm sorry. I'll read it out loud. Water disturbance calls for action to be taken. A recent disturbance in the city's water supply has called for action to be taken to resolve the problem as soon as possible. The man who usually attends the maintenance of the aqueducts... Oh, gosh, dude. Vabam Rothran, maybe? It's... I don't know. Has recently succumbed to serious illness, the source of which is presently unknown. For these reasons, the Imperial City is in need of someone to fix the problem. If you believe you are that someone, please visit that character by uh, marking the location of his house from the map below onto your map. Okay, so it looks like he's outside the city here. You know, this actually is probably that huge aqueduct we saw when we were coming down the road here. Because this will be the road to Breville. Right here. If this is the red, red ring. Because here's the main bridge that we came across. And so yeah, this will be that aqueduct we saw. Uh, actually, this is probably the road to Coral, now that I think about it. We probably came from somewhere down here. Uh, this matter concerns all citizens, and therefore, the sooner it is resolved, the better for all the inhabitants and visitors to the Imperial City. This notice has been... Oh my gosh. That's commission. That's what that says. Uh, by the Imperial Office of Commerce. All right. Yep. Uh, note to the mod makers. This text just needs to be bigger. That's uh, really difficult to read. Did we get a quest for that? Oh. Here, the aqueduct. Let's make this our active quest. Also, I love that the 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 zoomed out map is the city, and then the zoomed in local map is this color. Because if you'll if you look on my map here, there's actually an extra district added to the Imperial City, right? The arena district, the university, the waterfront prison but they've added this diplomatic district so it might be something well met yes yes you too um before i head out though ink and text i do need to find a blacksmith to fix my equipment oh what can i do for you having a look around need a book <laughs> you've come to the right place thanks man oh, you really do have about everything no. a red book of riddles that sounds interesting i might come back for this have a read um i would like one guide to the imperial city please thank you come again thank you goodbye this that's uh, thief of virtue they had a copy of that that must be their copy of that alessa alessia otis's guide to the imperial city Praise Akatosh, bless the Empire and all its people. My name is Alessia Otis, and I'd like to tell you all about the Imperial City. Who do you think lives in the Imperial City? Uriel Septim, Emperor of Tamriel, Defender of the Faith, and descendant of the sainted Tiber Septim. Lord Talos, the Holy God of State and Law, and our blessed Nine Divines. All know the Emperor to be a good and holy man, for he may often be seen in the Temple of the One, making his devotions to the Nine Divines the communion of saints. Where does he live? Oops, wrong button. Nope, that's Leowen. Oh, no. And where does he live? <laughs> I'm sorry. In the Imperial Palace, in the center of the Imperial City, the White Gold Tower, which was built many ages ago by the godless, daedra-loving Aeliads. How fine it is that the stones raised high by this ancient evil empire are now reconsecrated re as a monument to Imperial justice and piety. People who visit the Imperial Palace like to walk among the graves of saints and counts, battle mages and emperors, and gaze with wonder upon the White Gold Tower, which can be seen from any place within the city. It can actually seen, be seen from pretty much any place in all of Cyrodiil, which is really cool if you're like... ...find... ...distance. The, rend the, like, the LOD render for that is like really far. The Elder Council Chamber here cannot be entered. Though you may marvel at their curious ancient armors, you will soon want to be away from the rude and discourteous Imperial Guards. Imperial City Districts. The Imperial City is divided into ten districts. The center is the Imperial Palace. The other districts are grouped around the palace. To the northwest is the Elven Gardens, pleasant residential district. Uh, continuing Widdershins, the Talos district, and ex what does Widdershins mean? Hang on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Google. Widdersh... Widdershins. Adverb. Uh, Scottish in origin. 
in a direction contrary to the sun's course, considered as unlucky. Counterclockwise. Okay. So, counterclockwise. Talos District, uh, an exclusive residential area, lies to the west. To the southwest, Temple District. And beyond it, outside the walls, the filthy, bad-smelling waterfront district. To the southeast lies the Arboretum. Beyond that, outside the walls, the infamous Arcane University of the Mages Guild, which is where we want to go someday. And last, to the northeast of the palace lies the Market District, where anything may be bought, and beyond the Market District, outside the city walls, the Imperial Prison. I live in the Temple District of the Imperial City, and it is, very, and it is a very pretty place. You are welcome to visit me, my husband, and daughter when you come to the worship. At, when you come to worship at the Temple of the One, this district is very pretty and only pleasant if well-bred persons live there. Though, as in all parts of the city, beggars are a constant problem. It's like a typical rich, like Karen type lady, isn't it? The Arboretum. In this beautiful garden, you will find the famous statues of the Nine Divines. In the center, you will find the statue of Lord Talos, Emperor Tiber Septum. But it is right. But is it right that Talos should have his place of honor higher uh, rather than Akatosh, King of the Gods? It is the scheming pride of the Elder Council, who sought favor with the sons of Talos. That is uh, responsible for this shameful error. Market District. You will find crowds of people waiting outside the doors of the Office of Imperial Commerce to make their complaints about being cheated by some merchant. It is a very dirty place. Piles of crates lie around in untidy heaps. Unwholesome toadstools and fungus grow in clumps, and the cobbles are slimy and encrusted with filth. You may send your servant rather than visit yourself. It would be far better. Arcane University. This place is unspeakably dirty and unkempt. Whoa, just hating on it already. No better than a slum. Wizards there, she just hates them. You will never find the students or wizards outside in the air, for they are squatting in their dark dungeons. <laughs> Pouring, uh, that's misspelled. I think, right? You pour over something, isn't it? Is it? That's like... Pouring. Oh no, that is correct. Fascinating. The second definition of poor. We're learning all about the English language today. Okay, I thought it was with a U. I have been educated today. Uh, pouring over profane texts and making uh, crab scribbles on scrolls. Within the Archmage's Tower, it's hidden the Imperial Orrery, which the mages use to study the sky. Such fools, why do they not look on the glory of creation itself and give praise to the Nine as they ought, rather than squat and peer at such a ridiculous and expensive machine? I feel like they're calling out PC gamers, you know what I mean? Go touch grass, don't look at your monitor. See that? That's, that's what that means, right there. The mages are said to have a great library of precious books, but they jealously hoard them for themselves. This is no loss for the righteous, for these books are surely full of wicked nonsense. Dang, this lady's like a hater, dude. Oh, I have a copy of Thief of Virtue. Check that out. Imperial Waterfront. This is a terrible place. <laughs> it's actually true. It's a fucking shit show. The, uh, I, I played around a little bit, you know, with the mods, getting everything stably, or as stable as possible. And, uh, Waterfront is, is one of the places that just crashes the game. Like... I don't know if you've noticed throughout the playthrough, but I just mash the quick save button. I have it mapped to my mouse. I just hit it every like 20 seconds, just in case. But usually it's not a problem. There's just a few areas. The waterfront's really bad. Um. Anyway, this is a terrible place. It is not uncommon to stumble over the bodies of women and children who have been murdered here. Whoa. That is not, you don't see that in game. That's, that is extra detail that the players wouldn't get if they weren't reading this book. So now we're just going to assume that they're just ch child corpses in like piles everywhere. There are no more wicked and godless men in Tamriel than merchants and sailors, and they gather here to plot and cheat citizens of their hard-earned gold. Gambling and slaving and skooma sucking and even more depraved activities take place in the warehouses and ships here. And where are the city watch? Nowhere to be seen. Which is weird because like Hieronymus Lex and all the Imperial Watch basically live in the Waterfront District. You know what I mean? Like they're just there. Not that Varus would know, but still. Imperial Prison. The prisons are a very cruel and horrible, damp and dirty. With chains and pincers and manacles and instruments of torture on every hand. Did I find any prisoners in these cells? No. 
for the watch is so lazy and careless that all the cells are empty. It's true, we didn't start there. We did not start there. There are guards everywhere in the Imperial City. They travel in groups, for even they are afraid of the cruel bandits and thieves that lurk everywhere in the city. I do not know why they do not throw the impertinent beggars into prison. And she just hates poor homeless people. Oh my gosh, dude, we gotta go, like, slap this lady or something. Criminals are so bold as to introduce themselves to you on the street. One outlaw was so brazen uh, as to boast he had stolen his weapons and armor from the Imperial prison. How careless and idle these watchmen must be to allow this. They know no shame, for the wicked officers of the watch are corrupt and accept gold from the hands of the very people they are supposed to place behind bars. The arena. I will not tell you about this place, for you have no need to visit it. Only idle or foolish persons come here to throw their money away on games of chance or to spill their own blood when they would better devote themselves to exterminating the armies of robbers and beggars over in the street. May the nine bless you and keep you. Wow. Just wow. What a lady. Uh, thanks for the book. So she lives here. Not her house yet? Abcast has a house. Doesn't sp he doesn't speak any English, but he has a house. That was wild, dude. She just started hating yes. on everybody. Or did she say she lived in the temple district? Shoot. Whatever. I want to go to the market. Oh, we'll go the long way around. And then we'll see the Elven Gardens on the way back. Head across and go see about that aqueduct. That's going to be our plan for the next day or so. Oh, hello. That's a fun dress. Hi. Yep, hello, I'm Varys, Knight of Leowen. If I can find this lady's house. That's the right name, right? Otis? Hello? Go ahead. It's you! You're the hater! Hello! My name is Alicia Otis, and I'd like to talk about the Nine Divines. I read your book. Uh, what do you think about the Imperial City? St. Alessia has blessed our city and all its people. Visit the Temple of the One and renew your faith. Maybe I will, thank you. Any rumors? There's a new ship moored up in the waterfront district. The Marie Elena. It's a galleon, I think. Thank you. Be seeing you. Right. Can we visit the Temple of the One? In the in the base game, I actually don't think there's ever a reason to go in here. You can't like pray. Afternoon. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Nothing happens. Big ass fire. What do you want? What's up, dude? You don't have anything to sell okay. or say or go ahead, please. Oh. Neither do you. Be seeing you. Greetings, my name is Alanus Medici Medici, rather. I am a priest, pilgrimage at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. Have you seen it yet? It is truly remarkable. I'm alone. Imperial City? No. A fellow priest has come with me. Her name is Claire, and I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Keep an eye out for Claire. The Imperial City is quite a sight to see, isn't it? Quite a sight. It's just around lunchtime as well. Hello there. Maybe once I get to the, uh... If I find a pub or anything along the way, I'll stop and... Eat there, it's raining, or I'd stay out here and maybe eat in the Arboretum. Oh my goodness, it's... I don't know what she's on about. There's, like, no crime, it's gorgeous. 
Anyone care? Nobody cares. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Oh, but think of the potions. Okay, okay, okay. Shouldn't, I shouldn't. This is pretty awesome. Chalice. This is really cool. They did a great job. Look, like, there's just... This is really an Arboretum, though. Feels great to be... Sorry. Having a look at all the statues. Uh, where are we? I want to go towards the arena districts. We're on the right track here. There's just deer out here. Maybe a few more alchemy units. For safekeeping, you know? Well, they did a good job. This place is huge. I feel like Varus would be like super overwhelmed. I'd be a little curious. Maybe I'll, I'll come up here, watch a match, and have lunch in the arena. Hello. Hello there. Welcome to the arena. I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. I know all the regulars. Believe me. My first time in the city, actually. If you're looking to join the arena as a combatant, oh no no no, you need no. to head down no, to the bloodworks you. and talk to Owen, the blade master. If you're here to bet on a fight, on the other hand, you're talking to the right man. There are matches all day long, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. That's a lot of chances to fill your purse with coin. So what do you say? You want to bet on a match? Sure. Yes. Sounds fun. Ah. Excellent. I knew you were the gambling I mean, type. When in Rome, now, right? You can bet on the yellow team or the blue team. Okay. The teams are evenly matched, so you've pretty much got a 50-50 chance of winning. So, which team would you like to bet on? Let's bet on the yellow team. All right, then. The yellow team it is. How much do you want to bet? Got 4,000 gold. Let's bet 50. All right, my friend. You've got 50 gold down on the yellow team. Good luck and enjoy the match. Thank you very oh, much. And if you win, come see me for your payout. Now, I have regular base luck, right? So it really is 50-50. The arena matches are determined by your luck stat. So if you were leveling your luck, you could actually make infinity money here in the arena. Welcome, welcome to the arena, good citizens. You see from here? No, we can't. All right, and so while this is going on, um, we have this crappy mead from Breville. Ooh, the arena! Yeah, woo! Uh, and we definitely ordered the crab. You know, uh, we dipped it in the butter. It was delicious. Uh, and then munched on a sweet roll. That's what we did. Varus was just enjoying himself. The, uh... It looks like the yellow team person's in heavy armor, but the blue team person has a better shield. And they're just hitting each other with knives. Let's go, yellow team. Woo. This fight's actually taking a long time. Just blood everywhere. <laughs> we did it, we won money. Let's go, yellow team. Oh, you don't sound very excited, Jacob the Card Sharp. Yes. Oh, 
We've won some coin. You won. Congratulations. You thank you. Here are your winnings, my friend. One hundred gold pieces. Come back and bet on the matches as often as you like. Thank you. I'll be uh, sure to do that. All right. That was pretty awesome. I'm in the middle of the afternoon here. No, we're making our way. Words come down from the captain. No breaks until further notice. All right, so we need a blacksmith, and uh, we'll probably poke around the shops for a bit. Oh my lord, there's so many people here. What is it? What? Well, like there's at least a blacksmith right away. Got stuck on the stairs. What was that? Something bounced. Oh, maybe this? Where's she going? What? Talk to me, lady. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city. And I offer advanced training for armorers. Ooh, you know what? I have any repair hammers. You. Day. I'm gonna fix what I can. Because I'm actually I did I did take the time to learn from the blacksmith in uh Leowin. I might as well. My endurance stat went up. Very nice. Look at that. We're still level one. But that's okay. Welcome to a fighting chance. I'm Rosan, proprietor. I sell the best swords in the city. Hmm? And I offer advanced training for armorers. Uh, so we actually just handy. want these what patched needs to up. Be fixed? Yep. And then... Armor, weapon... Yeah. Go ahead. We gotta... We gotta play the game. So she doesn't Don't like that try one. To manipulate me. Or that one. Oh please. Oh well done. Uh that's don't waste your flat. What oh, nice, please. nice. Oh what really? Ooh, very Let's good. We can take it a little higher too. Don't like that. Don't talk such rot. Oh please. That what a I didn't gain any story. on that one. Oh well. Well you This one's good. Don't 81. Try to manipulate nice. Me. Perhaps you need new Um We take it to 25%. I don't know if we have anything to sell you. I guess we have a bear pelt. You've made a good this alien coin. Oh, I'm actually going to buy some repair hammer. But I'm here. Maybe like nine more. Let's just do 10. It's fine. I can have a bunch. Come back. They're useful. See me again. Thank you, I will. Bye. I appreciate your shop being here. Very nice. All right. So we've repaired our equipment there. There's an inn jeweler we're gonna be here for a while place to a grocery store grab some more food no no trying to talk to you put on the feed bag right dillos found us we got food and drink and lots of it great i'm game Barter. a little food and drink will do you some good Let's take his apples you're a fine his berries. A fine oh, bread and cheese. You drive a hard bargain. Apes. And the oranges, yeah. There now we'll have some things to munch Come on. Come back and see me again. Well, thank you, thank you. I will. Bye. Boy, there's a shop for everything in the Imperial City, isn't there? All these watermelons. Just a warehouse. 
Do I need any general goods? Because that seems like what these two are. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. If you need light armor, talk to Another bookstore, general store. There are so many people here. Armor, alchemy. Yes, please. Do I have? I just have a mortar and pestle. So I think what I might do is see if I can get some better apparatuses. How goes it? Oh. I have everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. Far more than Thorinir would ever have, despite his horrid business ethics. I don't know who that is. What? Who's Thor? What? That guy is going to run me out of business soon. His prices are so low. I don't know how he does it. I think he's up to something. If you're interested, you should head over to Jensen's Good as New merchandise. She heads up a committee that is trying to investigate him. Uh, maybe. I'm I'm actually here on Mage's Guild business, but uh, I'll, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Go ahead. Oh, we gotta play the game. Doesn't like these two. I'm not buying that one. Not bad. You're a whatever you want. You'll f that's a bit excessive. To that's oh, we're yes, just crushing yes, it. Oh, say. okay. This is size I can take All it right, for her, I though. You never know when you might need a good strong she potion. She does Best have. These are expensive. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Can we at least go 20. Uh... Do I need all of these? They're not that heavy. What I do need to do is sit down and make some pot. Oh my gosh, look at those ingredients. Let's let's go ahead. Well, let's buy a calcinator and just one alembic, not four. Thank you. Uh, and maybe we'll get the retort at another time. I appreciate your business. Oh uh, yeah, thank you. I, I uh, good day. Really feeling that purchase. That was expensive. Really, really expensive. Orium, divine elegance. Hello, Ignar What's going Roadblock. Because he's so dummy thick, you know. Greetings, done. Uh, hello, hi. Um, do I want to go upstairs? You know, I'm going to come back to the city after I deal with this uh, aqueduct business. Maybe I'll save the second floor for my next trip to town, and I'll actually like really go shopping. Where are we at now? Elven Gardens. Oh, that's a fun bridge. Hello. It's just two taverns back to back here. There. So this is the front gate? Or is that the next? I just looked at the map. I'm sorry. I... That's to the diplomatic Not district. So it's the next one over. Hello. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace. Alright, so this mod makes the Imperial City absolutely massive. There's so much to see. Very cool. Varus is uh, definitely overwhelmed. Like, sort of choice paralysis, you know? That's why I'm forcing myself to focus on the uh, aqueduct thing. Or I don't think I'd ever leave even a single district. Hi. Okay. Hello there. Hello. We'll head back out. Uh of the city here. We've got quite a bit of uh, decent equipment on us now. And all of our stuff is repaired. We'll head back across the bridge. Let's have a look. So we're going over there. So we'll got to come across the bridge and walk back the way we came. All right. That's very doable. What is it, citizen? And I'm thinking about buying a horse. 
that's that's all I've got, you know? Because we're we're going on some long walks. I'm wearing heavy armor. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. It's uh ooh, it's rough. Not uh not something that uh Varys is used to, you know. That's okay. He doesn't have to be used to it. He's gonna get used to it. He's a, a knight. And he looks the part, certainly. Fun. You know, I'm really not in a hurry. Just take time to enjoy the bird song and take in the sights. 444. Uh, we're probably going to stop in Pell's Gate, for the, to be honest. We could stop here, but it's really early. And, I mean, it's only 5 p.m., you know? And it's not like we've done anything particularly draining today. So we'll head we'll head south and go to Pell's Gate. I know that there's that little inn because uh, we fought a bandit in there, <laughs> and that dude like clipped all over the stairs or chair up up upstairs. He got knocked down. It was really funny. You know, one of these days, um, and this is a player thing, but I'd like to have a reason to investigate an alien ruin. Like, uh, on my own, you know, because we went into one with Mizoga, that small, that small one, Telepi or whatever it was called. Why is there battle music? The Legionnaires don't see any. I don't see any. It's a bandit. Oh, well. I'll take his arrows. Oh, and I guess I'm taking his knife. That was an accident. I did not mean to click that, but here we are. What it even was it? Just a fat dagger. Look at this thing. It is dummy thick. Banna Casical. And if it has to be said, though, you know, Iliad ruins. Uh, basically, they just took like the Bible, the dictionary, and J.R.R. Tolkien's The Silmarillion, put it in a blender, and whatever came out was what they named the Iliad ruins. They just picked out letters one at a time. They were like, "This one's gonna have twelve, and then they just took twelve letters out. And then they repeated the process for the dwarf ruins, uh, the the Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. Don't do it. I'm armed and dangerous. Apparently, the wolf is not gonna do it. How many lockpicks do I like? I have eight. That's fine. I'm not actually going to actively go out of my way to open any, like, locked things, but I need to get a shield bash mod, but I don't know if that'll break my, uh, install. Okay, I, this is like a dinosaur. Varus does not like this. He does not like this at all. Did it? I, I killed a dinosaur. Oh my goodness, it was weak. Like we could see that its health bar was already low, but Varus de like defended himself and, and like fought it. That's huge. You 
Dude, I was here yesterday. Where are all these things coming from? Oh, the fireball spell is so nice to have on hand. Take those. Put a pop in right there. Uh, gotta get to this Pell's Gate Inn, have some dinner. It's, it's getting on, the sun's going down. If you've done good deeds, the Nine will bless you and cure diseases when you visit their way shrine. Well, I do good deeds. Who bandit? Or do you live here? Yes. You live here. That's a bandit. Okay. I'd like to rent a room for the night, if that's okay. Welcome to Pell's Gate, friend. I have a room if you're interested. It's ten gold for a night. Did that sound super weird, or was that just me? Go upstairs and look for the first door. Sleep well. It's like they come like took all the words and mashed them together. Good day. That was really interesting. We'll stay here and eat. Downstairs. I might see if they have more uh drinks as well. Uh let's go ahead and have this uh beef for dinner. We'll have some beef and uh like a got what goes good with steak steak and carrots mmm yummy all right well I've had my dinner they just left that body here excellent excellent that's what we wanted to see just dead bandits in the hallway in another day or so it's gonna smell real bad in here All right, um, get some sleep and we'll head out early tomorrow. Let's see what's going on at the, the aqueduct.